Ah, my part-time job is such a drag. You mean your job at the beef bowl shop on Central Street, right? I thought, right? I thought you p said the pay was good. Plus, the, politi the politician who makes speeches in front of a station is a regular there, isn't he? Maybe we can ret we can network with him if everything goes well. No way, I'm not even interested in politics. I really don't want to go. Even though the pay is good, running the whole place by myself just sucks. The job magazine said it was fun, friendly workplace. I wish another part-timer would join. Mm. I guess it's tough out there. But Phantom Thieves need money too. You should pick up on those job magazines. Oh, our grades are out. How do you do? Damn, I'm dead. Phew, I'm above the average. That's the real dividing line. My allowance is safe for now. I wonder what score I got. I finished a little higher than the average score. Yeah. Hey, well, it should... It, it should set a good example for your friends. Yeah, they're pretty good. Hey, you came just at the right time. Slight change of plans. That paper bag from the other day, all yours. You picked it up somewhere. Nothing to do with me, understand? I didn't see it, I didn't touch it, I don't know anything about it. We clear about it? If that's it, then go home. You can go window shop somewhere else. That modified model gun should be a powerful weapon to use during palace battles. Let's ask him about the, what was inside the bag. Don't freak out, Akira. Just ask him. My gut's gotta be dauntless. Come on. Well, let's buy okay. some stuff. So, I gave all of my teammates new bladed weapons. Akira through Yusuke. Akira got the Athami, which is drastically bigger than what the Silver Dagger ever had. Ryuji has the Battle Hammer, which is drastically bigger than what the Judge Mace was. Morgana's got the scim Scimitar. Sm scimitar? He originally had the Bandit Sword. Just look how much bigger, just look how much more damage it'll do than that one. Anne has the Goat Leather Whip, where she originally just had a Leather Whip. Yusuke had the Gun Toe. I mean, Yusuke has a Gun Toe now, where he originally had the Katana. So, I'm going to save up the money so I can get them better guns and armor later, but those are the good new weapons they got. Yusuke, we still need to explain the basics to you, don't we? Oh, you mean about the metaverse and the nav? <laughs> yeah, I guess that stuff is pretty important. Please elaborate. Okay, let's start from the beginning. Here we go. First, the metaverse spots where we act as the Phantom Thieves are called palaces. Palaces are worlds that take form from someone's cognition. A materialization of their reality. In other words, this is how they view this certain area or the thing. So do we each hold palaces within ourselves as well? That does kind of... that, that is a good question. No, not just anyone will have one. It's primarily those with strong, distorted desires. They basically uh -huh. gotta be criminals. Real bastards like Kamoshida or Matarame. Warped desires. Our desires are warped desires. Or at least something that warped us or changed us or made us think of something that we're not. We don't have that though. On the other hand, palaces can't exist within persona users. It's just impossible for them to form. Ah, so since we have a persona, our, our palace would never exist. Basically, your persona is the true feelings of your heart, which arise from accepting your inner shadow. So if Madarame saw his shadow of Madarame self and accepted that shadow as that's, my, what, that's what I really am, then Madarame would gain that shadow's trust and he would get a persona as well. 
Then, since you have full control over your emotions, there's no way your desires can get distorted. But if your desires get distorted, your personas get your persona is lost. If persona is lost, you might form a palace. So that's how it works. Even Anne didn't know. Well, obviously, I, I knew that. Uh, of course Ryuji didn't know. If Anne don't know, Ryuji sure as hell don't know. Oh yeah, and we use the Metaverse Nav app on our phones to get into that world. It's actually pretty simple. Just say a person's name, location, and distortion, then you're in. Location? Uh, so like, Matarame's would be Shaq. Then his distortion is that he thinks it's a museum. Not the best example. Matarame's Atelier, the place that you live in. It, it's called a shack. That's the location's name you have to give it to. How do you know what their palace is going to look like if you've never set foot in it before? You don't. That part's kind of like a quiz or something. It'll probably get pretty tricky from here on out, too. Hmm. I feel as though I have a good grasp on the basic concepts. For the most part, yeah. If anything arises which I fail to understand, I'll rely on those more experienced than myself. Yeah, I got you covered, newbie. Uh, you should probably ask Morgana if you need anything. Yeah, Ryuji and Anne, no, no offense. Anne, I thought you might have understood it, but after Morgana explained it, you kind of lost it. Thinking back to Matarame, though, I can't believe he'd consider pressing charges. Well, we did break in it. Well, we technically broke into a room we're not supposed to, and we're guests in the house. Yes, I've never seen him show such anger before. He is most likely quite serious about that. What should we do? There's no way we'll be able to win if that happens. He likely won't act on that threat until the final day of the exhibit, June 5th. Simply put, I doubt he would be so foolish as to taint his name with a trial during his exhibition. People will pay a lot. Because the thing is, he's a well-known artist in the world of Japan and in some places over across. He's a well-known artist in Japan and in some places of the world. If a famous person's pressing charges, they're going to look at who they're pressing charges to, why they're pressing charges, and why is a man like this guy going on the attack against people like him. People like us. So there's no way he's going to draw attention, especially if he's got to make up alive what happened. All right, so we just got to steal Matarame's heart by then? There's no way we're going to let him press charges. We'll show people who he really is. Now then, it's time to infiltrate the palace. Yes, let us go. Let's do this. Got new weapons, and we're stronger than before. Decided on the new recruit's code name yet. It has to be Kitsune. You know, with that Kitsune mask and everything. Hell yeah. That really leaves an impression. Are you talking about me? Yeah, he does. Yeah, I forgot. Kitsune is like some sort of mythical animal. And he looks like a fox. What do you want your name over here to be? I'd say Da Vinci. Nope. Nah. Well, you've got that mask like On said. And there's that weird tail. Kitsune's like so Kitsune is Japanese word for fox. And something's up with Japan and mythical foxes. Nine tails. Uh freaking uh spirit fox. That spirit that white spirit fox from uh what's that anime called? K Memory of Kings. And uh, Haikyuu had foxes as well. So, I feel like it would be more appropriate to call you Kitsune. Plus, Anne's got a panther mask. Ryuji's got a skull mask. So, it would just make sense to keep the animal... It would just make sense to name you after your mask. Alright, you're Aburage. Why that? <laughs> Very well. No! He's agreed to it? No! Well, again, again, R Yusuke does look like the type of guy who would just accept no qualms, especially considering Ryuji, especially after Anne's little flirt thing earlier. Just decided then, Aburage. Nuh uh not happening. Not even close. Do you have any ideas, Joker? And once again, I have to name him. We're gonna name him Fox. Oh, just keep it literal, huh? 
Sounds good to me. What do you think, Fox? It's acceptable. It's set then. Let's go. By the way, we should have Joker decide who our starting lineup is from here on out. Starting lineup? You mean the ones who will be going in first? Yeah. Now that Fox has joined us, it'll be harder to move around as a group. We'll stand out more, too. Considering how we've operated to this point, we should have four starters. Anyone else can be backup. And I guess we always gotta have our leader with us, right? Exactly. That's why we'll have Joker choose the remaining three. And what should the backup do? Would it be best for them to stay outside of the palace? No. They should come in as well, but maintain a reasonable distance from the main group. In other words, the starting lineup is the first wave of our infiltration force. Well, we'll leave the team composition to you, Joker. To change party members, speak with your teammates at the palace entrance. You can also press triangle and select stats for the menu. Well, it's clear who I'm gonna pick. Ryuji and and Yusuke. Morgana, I really well Morgana would be useful. Ryuji packs a lot of punch. What's their levels at? All right, so Ryuji. Joker. Yeah. And. Hey. Thanks. And Yusuke. May I get a word in? Sorry to cause you trouble. Now, before we head on, let me see what's inside it. Let me see if I can do something in the velvet room. Do you need something? Terrible, but not impressive. Looks pretty tough. I see. A strong persona indeed. Select the skills you'd like to inherit. Personas possess unique properties known as traits. Traits are capable of being inherited through infusion. Should we make use of the property, you can very well conclude with a nigh unstoppable persona. However, some special traits cannot be inherited. In any case, only one trait can be inherited during infusion, so choose. Skillful combo increases damage after time pass. Potent. Potent hypnosis increases effect period of support cast. Skills cast on allies for one turn. Internal hypnosis increases effect period of support skills cast on you know, skillful combo. You're gonna get rebellion and giant slice. It will receive a fraction of power. Girls, Let's go. Let us begin. Archangel in Asparis. I'm sorry. I am Matador. This body of mine, born from the bloody thorns of battle, shall be with you as a mask from now on. Behold the death confidant the death confidant is awakening your persona's hidden power. 
double shot. All right. He's got Mopsy, light physical damage to all foes. All right, pretty nice. Now, can I get... You okay with this? You okay with this? No, I don't want that. You okay with this? You okay with this? I can get Kaguya! Fusing Hapo and Matador. I just got Matador too. But you know what? Yeah. We're getting Kaguya. This is a persona born within one who held a fate outside that of your tale of rebellion. However, that persona still bears the power of its original owner. It shall be of great help to you. Select the skills you'd like to inherit. Well, triple counter damage. Increase the chance of inflicting burn after a baton pad. Yeah, but he doesn't have a burn move. So it wouldn't work. Increase damage after baton pass. Psy, Mopsy. receive a fraction of power. <laughs> I see. I'm sorry, Halpo. And Matador, I just got you too, but I'm sorry. Who dareth call me, O radiant heart that shineth into the night? I should become thy strength. I am Kaguya. The light shall, the light shall never be extinguished as long as I live. I got a special persona. Amity shower curses, cur cures all non-special ailments to all allies. And thus, we have another one. Not terrible. I don't not care much for Elagor. Terrible, but not impressive. Well, that's it. That takes care of that. You change your mind? Done already? What? Heading back already? Uh, yeah. Let's go back. It is time, inmate.